54. So this is Joe Bugner fighting in front of Muhammad Ali, who's sitting at the ringside watching him. Possible they may meet next year, and Ali's here to watch points, and Bugner, I imagine, wants to look good for him. And there's the great man himself. Right, now the man that Bugner meets is a substitute. This isn't the man he expected to meet. This is the Argentinian, Santiago Alberto Lovell, or Lovell, whichever you prefer. He was 32 years old, and he's conceding 24 and a half pounds here, a lot of weight to Bugner, and he's about three or four inches shorter. And he came in only on Sunday as a substitute for Boone Kirkman, who went home with a busted nose. And Lovell already looking in trouble against Bugner, who's quick and vicious. This could well be the night for Bugner to look really good. Every incentive for him. Lovell's been a pro now for nine years, but the last five of them have been pretty unimpressive. He really hasn't gone places at all. And with punches like that, he won't go places here either. I've seen this man before, Lovell. I saw him in the Tokyo Olympics in 1964. Oh, that's terrible. Right hand, delivered with the inside of the glove. Bogner's extra weight, telling, pulling this man around, trying to free himself from him. This is a terrible start by Lovell, who looks really like a substitute and looks totally unprepared for this. And he's going to hold on for dear life. Roland Dakin, the referee, is going to have a lot of work to do. And Lovell is getting the bird from the crowd, and I'm not surprised. Sheer fast, there's nothing else to be said about it. Sheer fast. He really shouldn't be in the ring with Buckner if this is the best he can do. And this crowd now is getting really angry about the performance of Lovell, and I can't blame them. They've paid money not to see something like this, but to see something very much better. It's the most inept performance in a British ring at top level for a very long time. There's the bell. Well, that certainly is about the most uh, appalling opposition that Bugman's had ever, I would think. And people are so mad here that, in fact, more than one program and paper bag has already been tossed at the ring. So there are angry scenes at the ringside here. This crowd wants something better. And it's no fault of Wagner's. He has to meet a substitute. And the substitute, by the look of things, is just not up to it. This is Joe back three weeks after his win over Jimmy Ellis at Wembley. A win that was rated as pretty uninspiring, but uh, it went down in the books as a win nonetheless. Well, let's hope for something a little better from Alberto Lovell of the Argentine. seen a worse performance from a fighter at top international level than this and his left eye has gone now Lovell left eye he doesn't even look like an athlete Joe really 
has got to put him away now because there's no way he can let a man like this survive in front of him. He's just got to put him away. Another paper bag or a program or something's come flying through the air towards the ring. Coming in with his head as well now, Lovell. stamping hard enough to bring the Albert Hall down. And he throws him over. And somebody has thrown some coins into the ring now. stumbles over again, not from a punch, but from sh sheer ineptitude. And there clearly will have to be a board inquiry about this, I think. How could this man be allowed to fight with this sort of form? Roland Dakin's had enough, and he's sent Lovell to the corner surprise and look at all this stuff coming in the ring now it's coming in over our heads and Lovell pleads for sympathy and Bugner now is getting into a free fight with Muhammad Ali Ali tries to get into the ring with him and Bugner tells him to get out and swaps a few punches with him and this is the sort of chaos and confusion you get when Ali's around but it's rather worse than usual because of the Alberto Lovell situation in the ring Ali taking his jacket off this crowd now dying for him to get together. Stripped to the waist now, Ali. Well, even more amazing than ever, and here we go. Here's a lot better entertainment for the crowd than they've had from Buckner against Lovell. And Buckner's not going to be put out by the antics of Ali. This is not a put-up job, believe me. I'm the real champion, you're down, and you'll get your shot. You will get your shot. You will get your shot. You will, you will get your shot. You will, you will get your shot. Andy Smith is the possible in. fight next Andy year. Smith is it might be. So Wagner had a rather harder workout against Muhammad Ali than he did against Alberto Lovell, the poor man from the Argentine. An appalling performance. So.